Hi, I'm thanks a lot for listening to this uh, tutorial video on odd ratio and relative risk in SPSS. So there are two notions that are uh, quite different but that are mostly confused by many people. For example, to take a uh, epidemiology side, you can find the old ratio as a ratio of odd or an event in the treatment group to the odd ratio of an event in the control group. So we have two groups of individual. The, 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 treatment, the, the treatment group can be the group of person which uh, have received the treatment or received uh, an impact and the group of person of control, the control uh, event group uh, are the group of person that then uh, receive a treatment. So the term odds is commonplace, not always clear, um, often it was appropriate, inappropriately by uh, many, uh, many users. The old ratio of an event is the number of events uh, over the number of non-events. So it's turned out to be uh, equivalent, equivalent to the probability of an event divided by the probability of the non of the non event. So you will often see all ratio written as a ratio of uh, probability and the uh, of the event and the probability uh, and the probability of the non the non event. So uh, for example in the treatment group the old ratio of the event is the number of Tutor student who fell a class uh, divided by the number of uh, students in the tutor group who pass all their classes. So, uh, adversary, um, the uh, ratio, uh, risk ratio, relative risk, uh, or the risk of uh, these two probability uh, uh, is the uh, ratio of the risk of event in the treatment group by the risk of event in the control group. So if the program works, the relative risk should be smaller than one since uh, the risk of failing should be smaller in the tutor groups. So if uh, the relative risk is one, the tutor made uh, no uh, difference at all. It is, uh, if it is above one, then the tutor group actually had a higher risk of failing than the control group. So let us go in SPSS to show you how uh, uh, odd ratio and relative risk are calculated. So uh, to do so, you just uh, need to go on the, uh, analyze, analyze, and go on descriptive statistics, and uh, then click on cross table. You go on cross table, and you select uh, your uh, variable of control. So, uh, for example, as I told you earlier in this tutorial, this is the database on. Uh, Satisfaction um, of uh, satisfaction survey that has been made on the client of a shop. So uh, we now search for a determinant of buying or not a product. So there are so many uh, uh, there are so many questions that has been asked to those who uh, accept this survey so that they have uh, buy or not the product. So we are, uh, for example, we are going to search for determinant of uh, buying or not a product. So we choose a variable of control, which is buy. Our control group here is uh, those who uh, uh, treatment group, what we call our treatment group, those who buy a product and our control group is uh, those of the person who doesn't uh, buy product. So we select the variable that I call, I call, I call buy, uh, buy and use the 
this arrow to, uh, to put it in the column uh, section result to the cross table in SPSS. So second of all, select the, uh, the determinant, so the variable in according to which we are going to uh, calculate uh, uh, risk statistic like average or relative risk. So uh, my variable is uh, gender. So I go ahead to analyze the uh, risk of uh, gender to uh, determine whether or not uh, gender is a determinant of uh, buying or not a product. So while I have selected all my Two variables. So I will go on uh, statistics, statistic, and select uh, risk here. So uh, select risk, and then click on continue and OK. So uh, you have a cross table here, which uh, represent the repartition of our sample, uh, uh, the cross table of our. Uh, sample uh, among the variable uh, by and gender so uh, we have in the uh, risk estimate here odd ratio for gender so we have an odd ratio men, men by uh, female is one one uh, one seven six so our odd ratio is 1.176. So uh, if you consider that uh, this odd ratio is uh, significant, it means that uh, male is uh, are more likely to buy than women, to buy the product like women. So uh, the, the interpretation of our odd ratio of 1.17 six here is that uh, men are 1.176 times more likely to buy product than women. So we have the confidence interval, 95% uh, confidence interval here. So uh, the lower value is 0 0.81 and the upper value is uh, 1.1. Seventy, so seventeen, seventy. So uh, we have here uh, for cohort by equal yes. So this is a risk, uh, the relative risk of uh, according to the uh, yes to, the, to those who uh, who buy the product. So the relative risk is one point zero five. And here is an uh, confident interval. So here is uh, are the two uh, main statistics. So here the, old, the uh, relative risk is uh, is close to one, which means that uh, uh, the, uh, the gender the gender uh, made no difference at all in the. Uh, buying uh, process so we can say the same thing for the uh, old ratio because uh, so maybe uh, old ratio is uh, uh, seemingly uh, more than one but not uh, really significant because uh, the uh, confidence interval contain one so, uh, so there are part of uh, confident interval that uh, are less than one and other part uh, are more than one. So uh, we cannot conclude that uh, sex significantly determine, determine the, uh, the decision to buy or not a, pro a product. So that's it for this uh, tutorial on how to uh, calculate odd ratio and, and relative risk. See SPSS.